I mean, you guys take the seat, but everyone else stand up. Can I sit down? Uh, no. Can I praise that? Can I worship with the energy for the Lord our God? Praise in the valley. I'll praise on the mountain. I'll praise when I'm sure. I'll praise when I'm doubting. I'll praise when I number. I'll praise when surrounded. Praise is the water. My enemies drown. Praise in the valley, I'll praise in the mountains. I'll praise when I'm sure, I'll praise when I'm doubting. I'll praise when I number, I'll praise when surrounded. His praise is the water, my enemies drowning. As long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to praise the Lord, oh my soul. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. I'll praise when I feel it. I'll praise when I don't. Praise cause I know you're still in control. My praise is the weapon, it's more than a sound. My praise is the shock that brings Jericho down. As long as I'm breathing, I got a reason to pray. I'll praise cause you reign I'll praise cause you rose and defeated the grave I'll praise cause you faithful I'll praise cause you true I'll praise cause there's nobody's greater than you I'll praise cause you sovereign I'll praise cause you reign I'll praise cause you rose and defeated the grave Cause you sovereign, I'll praise cause you reign, I'll praise cause you rose and defeated the grave, I'll praise cause you faithful, I'll praise cause you true, I'll praise cause there's no
Amen. 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 Uh, quick intro. Uh, I don't usually do this, but uh, I was uh, praising in the back and I was just feeling to share something. This is literally the most important time we have together. It is the time when we worship the Lord, the time when we fixate our eyes on Him. So I want to encourage you. This is a time for you to engage with God, the Holy Spirit, to worship Him, to honor Him, to lift Him up. So whatever junk we walk in, into this room with literally stays outside whatever thoughts whatever worries whatever troubles you're in i know maybe some of you still have school probably now but regardless work trouble relationships let's leave it outside let's come here let's look at jesus and we like to use this term here we are doing business with god when we give him our worship he gives us grace when we give him our honor he gives us love and and, and so let's engage let's get into this amen we're gonna get back into it but i want to hear everybody shouting let's do it
so it's never gonna hold me. Cause the only thing holding on to me, you are alive. Living and breathing here in this place, speaking and healing on this old glory. It's right here before me, you're the living God, the living God. He chose you. He chose each and every one of us. So let's take a moment to say to him, I choose you, Lord. I choose you. I love you. I give my life to you. I surrender to you. Lord God, you said, be holy like I, your God, am holy. 
Help us to be a holy nation. Help us to be a holy generation, Lord God. Help us to be holy in a world that is so unholy, so full of sin and so full of darkness, Lord God. Help us to be holy and set apart, Lord God. Without you, we cannot do anything. Jesus, you said, you said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Remain in me because you, without me, you cannot do anything. Without you, we cannot achieve holiness. We are holy because of your finished work, Jesus. But help us through your Holy Spirit to live a holy life, to live set apart. Help us, Lord God, to not make choices like the world, to not think like the world, to not speak like the world, Lord God. To not, Lord God, to, to honor you with our life, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that we live a life as a holy nation, Lord God, that is yours, Lord God, set apart, Lord. You said, do not be confirmed to the parents of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Help us to renew our mind, Lord God. Help us to renew our mind and be transformed so that we can live holy for you, Lord God, so that we can live set apart so that the world around us will know you, the holy God. Lord, and the last part of the verse, it says, who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. He's calling us out of darkness. Make the choice to come out of darkness. Whatever darkness, even if it's hidden, whatever hidden sin, whatever darkness there is, choose to come out of darkness into his marvelous light and choose to live a life of holiness. I choose to live a life of holiness. Yes, Lord. I choose you, Lord. I choose you. I love you. I want to live for you, Lord God. I want to honor you with my life, with my speech, with my work, with everything I do and everything I say. And I pray right now that I invite you all to, to just imagine. Imagine right now you're in a dark room and you open the door and walk out and it's a sunny day. Open the door. Walk out. Come out. Come into his marvelous light. In Jesus' name. Open up the gates, let me have it on it. 